So I'm gonna try and slow down this intro. For some reason, it's another one of those days it's all blending together when I try and do the intro. But hey guys, Sean T. Phillips here and welcome to my brand new DVD, Blu-ray Tuesday, Sean Bear today. Today gonna go out today, see, came, see what things came out today, see what things are on sale. Uh, today though, new release wise, the main big things coming out today. Uh, the main thing was the film Smile, that's releasing today. Also, uh, Ticket to Paradise, as well as the um, Vestron video collection of the Silent Deadly Night films is available as well. And I'll be reviewing that one at the end of this video as well. That one I feel like will probably be available in Best Buy and maybe it will be in Walmart as well. Walmart usually has the Vestron video titles and usually for a really good price. We'll see though if it's available today. Hopefully this stuff is out and everything. Also though, at the end of this video, it's gonna be a whole bunch of brand new DVD, Blu-ray and 4K reviews for some things I received to review and talk about for you guys. So definitely stay tuned for those as well at the end of this video and they will be in the uh, in the car reviews as well. So in the video, this video will probably be like getting dark as the video goes along, but then the reviews will be when it's light out still because I'll be doing these reviews directly after this. But anyway though guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Target we go. And as always too, I always show right here in the front, even though it's no longer the movies and it's switched over to books, I always show because you never know, they might change out the books and put something new here. You know what I mean? And it's funny too, I noticed too, they, they made like all those Dyer the Wimpy Kid, you know, these were all based on books. They were, you know, books originally and then they made the live action movies. And I noticed they're going in like, now they made them first, I think, as live action movies. Now they're remaking them again as animated movies that look like the books. It's kind of funny. I realized like, I think they like, they made Roderick Roy Rules as a movie like live action and now it's a animated movie so it's kind of funny I don't know if it's like exactly the same as the live action movie or it's mainly or more based on the book and stuff I don't know it's just kind of a funny thing I noticed that they're doing with that uh, series but we're going to head over to the actual section and see fingers crossed hopefully something is put out over there they haven't been changing out at this location for a while though but we shall see hopefully today they're finally change out the movies though because it's been a while since this one's changed things out but I definitely left later today and it's already getting darker already now. But I want to let you guys know though that in Target though, they actually had a lot of stuff out in here today. It was actually the first time in forever that they actually had everything stocked out. So there's a lot of stuff in there. They had of course, Ticket to Paradise. They had House of Dragon. The complete first season in there. Uh, what was some of the other stuff? They of course had, they had Smile. Uh, what was the other thing? Lyle Lyle Crocodile they had as well. They had Highlander on 4K, so definitely a lot of different stuff in there today. So at least finally, you know, the Target near me is finally stocking the stuff because I think it's been maybe like two, two months or so since I've gone to Target where everything was fully stocked and they changed stuff out. So finally they did it, you know, finally. So yeah, so at least hopefully that's gonna be the way it is now. Then they're always gonna stock stuff, but fingers crossed, hopefully there will be the stuff out in here today though, but we shall see though, we shall see. So we're gonna head back and take a look and see. And it looks like they have a lot of this stuff out. Oh yeah, this is one of the other ones that came out today. I forgot to mention uh, the one, uh, The Woman King. Uh, this one released today. This one's on 1996 for the Blu-ray, 1796 for the DVD of that one. And they have House of Dragon. It's not out on the shelf here though. But like I was saying, that was one of the ones that came out today. And there is something exclusive for Lyle Lyle Crocodile that they have. So it's a Walmart exclusive and has in here um, five, exclusive five, um, so, so exclusive movie and music bundle. So includes five um, music downloads powered by Sean Mendez. So I guess it's like some music and stuff that's on there for this one. So it's the same price for the for the exclusive one. So it's twenty two ninety six for the exclusive or the standard version. And they do have Ticket to Paradise. That one's on twenty two ninety six for the Blu ray, seventeen ninety six for the um, DVD of that one. And then other than that, though, uh, I don't believe these ones were today, though. These, yeah, these ones were all from the past two weeks and uh, past couple of weeks. And they do have Smile here as well. They don't have the 4K of that one. But it's 1996 for the Blu-ray and that's 1796 for the DVD of this one. And then let's see over here, anything different that's here. Let's see, usually in this spot is where there would be something new uh, mixed in. There's some random like cheap movies over here I have to show you guys too, it's weird. Uh, but over here though, uh, not seeing anything new mixed in here as far as I can tell, but this is the weird cheap stuff I'm noticing. Like these movies have like these stickers on them and they're like movies that are 375. And like this one's 425, the Steven Seagal one, like this movie collection's 425, this shark movie collection one. And then this one with Christina Ricci. These are like ones I remember seeing the Dollar Tree too. Like this, this, that, it's kind of weird, this Nicolas Cage one. And then like randomly Smoking Aces for some reason is like 1990, 1979. And then this weird movie for 288, 281. Like what is this about? Like see all these ones guys? Like 
they're like weird it's almost like they're zoo season two eight eight like what 843 like really random prices on those ones i've never seen something like that with kind of like incredibly random prices like that let me uh, i'll have to go to the other walmart too and see if that one is doing this as well but let me know if you, if this is something that you've seen in your store because I can say I have never in my whole life seen Walmart do this, like this kind of a thing. So <laughs> let, let me know, though, guys. Into the second Walmart we go. And I have a feeling there should be some other stuff in here. It was very strange, though, how I was showing you guys those movies that had those really strange, you know, stickers on them with those really random, peculiar prices. I had never seen those kind of prices ever in Walmart. So I don't know what was going on there. What was kind of bad, though, oh, look, this door is closed, the one I was going to go in. But what was kind of bad about that was the spot where they put all that stuff was the spot where they would normally put the, the new releases that were like the smaller films, like the more indie horror films and stuff like that would usually be in that spot. So I'm like, what happened to all those things? It was all those weird movies with random price tags, but we'll see. I'm really curious if we're gonna see those random price tags like popping up in other locations, or that was some very strange thing that was going on. But like I said though, definitely let me know guys if, if you've seen those kind of, of tags before in Walmart, and or if you have been seeing them popping up you know, here and there at, uh, you know, recently at stores. But we're gonna head on in though. But we're gonna head over. I'm noticing though, this location seems kind of picked over. It's like funny, like the other location seemed like it was a much better place to see all the new releases. It's funny though, they kind of decided like, this one is has the stuff out, the other one didn't. Because I think the other Walmart didn't have House of Dragon on the shelf. This one does, but they don't have any of the other new releases. And this one here, um, Band, what is this, Bandit? Uh, movie with here, a Mel Gibson one. I, was this one out, came out today? I don't know for sure, it has like, Looks kind of interesting. If you guys have seen this one, Lisa Cuthbert, let, let me know if you guys have seen this one, if that one's worth uh, checking out or not. That one is 10, uh, 10, uh, 16, sorry, 10, 69 for that one. But yeah, they don't have any of the other new releases here. And then this is still all the Christmas stuff here. Let's look over here and see if there's anything else different. I noticed too, they kind of are changing the way they're doing this and they don't have anything new here. But I think, Oh yeah, there's a couple new things here. This one here, Red Water. This is one here from, um, I, I don't know, I, I think, I'm pretty sure this was new, Red Water. And then this one, a Slashback. I believe this one released today. If you guys have seen this one, let me know if this one's worth checking out. I, I also, I'm not sure if there's a Blu-ray or not, so I wanna wait on this one to make sure there's not a Blu-ray. And then this one was today, the, uh, the Roundup. And then other than that though, I'm trying to see if there's anything else in here that's new. It doesn't, looks like it's all the main type stuff here today. I'm sort of like staying in the way of those people over there, it seems. But yeah, it seems like other than that though, that's all the main uh, new things in here today. I don't see anything else uh, different here today as far as I can tell. There is this like Christmas thing here. So this, I think this might be new. The, yeah, these are new holiday gift sets that have like Christmas vacation stuff. So they, they're DVD gift sets and they have Christmas vacation with these little mini Clark Griswolds. So they have mini versions of all the characters. So they have the mini Buddy the Elf in here, and then the mini of the, um, you know, Ralphie from Christmas Story right here. So they're all the Funko Pop Pocket ones. And then the, what, who do they have for the, this one? Oh, oh, well, I don't know. He, he was raptured, that one. <laughs> he got raptured. And then they have Snoopy in there, and then the, uh, Oh, it's funny. It's not the Grinch. It's Max. I guess they couldn't license the Grinch to put him in there. That's really strange. Uh, other than that, though, uh, do they have any other ones here different that I didn't show? Yeah, that seems to be all the main ones. Let's see. But let's see what was in this before, before it got raptured. Let's see. No. Yep. Raptured, too. They all got raptured. So, yeah, sorry. We, we can't show whatever that was. They, they, <laughs> they were raptured from the, the DVD. Into Best Buy we go. So we're going to take a look over here and what's new today. There's a lot of different things here. So they have the Woman King here uh, for $19.99 for this one. If you guys have seen this one, though, let me know how this one was. Uh, and then it's $24.99 for the 4K. And they have Highlander here as well. Uh, it's $17.99 for the 4K standard version. And then there is a uh, Steelbook version as well here. It's the Best Buy exclusive one. That one is a $21.99 for that one. And other than that, I believe all these other ones for the past couple weeks, I don't think I remember seeing the fog down there. Uh, they still have some of the Reservoir Dogs uh, steelbooks left. 
Let's see, you always check here because you never know. Sometimes they randomly have things here. Let's see, over here they do have Smile. And then they have the 4K here. The 4K here is $25.99 uh, for that one. And then other than that though, and then the Blu-ray is $19.99. But other than that over here, I don't see anything else new right here. Let's look over here though. Oh, and they do have um oh they do have Silent uh, Silent Night Deadly Night collection here. They didn't have that though at um you know at um Walmart, but it's an incredible price here. It's eleven ninety nine for this one. So this is a really, really good price for this, like amazing price. So definitely if you guys want to get this one, definitely get this at um at Best Buy. But really cool they have that for such a great price. And this other one though, Bandit. Like I said, if you guys have seen this one, let me know. I don't like really love Mel Gibson, but I don't know. <laughs> like let me like I said, let me know if it's um you know any good or not. And then they have Mad God here. I think this was actually out last Tuesday. All the other ones here were last Tuesday. Um, over here, though, I'm seeing if there's anything else mixed in. You always have to check, because sometimes randomly down here, there can be some other things. Let's see. And I do see, oh, they do have Lyle Lauer Crocodile. They have that here for $26.99 for that one. And they have um, Carrie, the Carrie uh, Steelbook here. I think that might have been this week. Same with Coraline. Coraline uh, Steelbook here, that one's $25.99. Uh, Paranorman Steelbook, that one's $27.99. Like I said, I, I'm about 90% sure that these ones were today, but they might have been last week. I know that Lyle Lau, though, that was today, though. And this set, this is some kind of like a Top Gun Maverick thing I've never seen. I, I don't think I saw this one, unless I showed it before and forgot. And that, maybe I showed it last week, but it's like, some, I, I think I did show this one last week, a big set of all of them in there. Let's see, though. Other than that, though, over here, I think everything else here I've shown, though. But still, I can't get over because this is a three-disc set here. So that's a great deal for that one, though. But anyway, though, guys, that was all for my brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. And like I always say, if you guys enjoy these shopping videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Also, though, let me know anything that you guys picked up today on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K. But there was definitely a lot of stuff out today. And, you know, like I was saying, too, a really great price, though, for the Silent Night, Deadly Night collection. Uh, like, really, like I said, surprisingly low price for that one, especially because it's three discs. It's not like you would think it would be that kind of a price if they were all kind of crammed onto one disc, kind of like a budget type thing. But it's not. It's not for that one. Uh, but I I also wanted to mention, too, I did see this past weekend the movie um, The Mean One in theaters, which was the Grinch parody. I was really interested in seeing that one. That's one of those movies, though, I'm really wondering, like, what was the budget for it? Because it, I, I think I honestly have a strong feeling that it might be one of the lowest budget movies I've ever seen in theaters, like, in my entire life. That wasn't, like, a screening of something that I was in or something like that. Because, like, I, I, I feel like it was, like, $100,000 to maybe $200,000, but I feel like it could even been less. I don't know. It wasn't a, by no means like a, a terrible movie or anything like that. But the weird thing about it was, was like all the blood was for the most part like CGI and like done later. So it's almost like they were making the movie and thinking maybe it was gonna be like a PG-13 film, but then that later they were like, oh no, you know what? Let, let's make this rated R. So then they kind of like added this digital blood and, it, and, I, and I also thought maybe they were trying to do it like that to give it this like, kind of Roger Rabbit kind of feel to it too like where the blood seemed animated or evil tunes maybe they were going for I couldn't really tell what was the vibe it was funny though like I recognized uh, a lot of the locations that they rented to shoot at and stuff I was like oh yeah I know that jail set I know that so that's kind of funny like you kind of get to know these kind of spots and stuff but I thought it was fun though I thought you know the um, actor that played the Grinch in the film you know who played art you know David Thornton Howard uh, from you know I think I believe that's how you say his full name but from um, Terrifier who plays Art the Clown you know he always does a great job though and I do wish though they could have had the Grinch like talking or saying something because there was more like grunts and weird noises but I really want like I don't know it'd been kind of funny if the Grinch had stuff to say like weird quips and stuff because I always like that Freddy Krueger stuff where like the weird killer has like weird puns and stuff to say to people i always think that's kind of interesting but anyway though guys uh, you know that's all for the um you know the video today but now stay tuned for the brand new dvd blurry and 4k reviews and the first one i got here is from lion's gate and this one is from the vestron video collection line this is the collector's edition series and this is the silent Night, deadly night collection now this one has silent Night, deadly Night three four and five now this is a set that i am so glad that this is available now that these are finally available on blu-ray i absolutely love these movies and i feel like too when it comes to the Silent Night Deadly Night movies, it's, it's, it's kind of weird with the sequels. Like, the first movie was a great movie. The second sequel was so strange. You know, the um, part two was a really weird movie because it was pretty much like 
if you guys remember, it was like mo more than half the movie was just like s footage from the first movie and they like, did all this weird stuff to it. So like, I almost like don't like that one too much. So like when it comes to the sequels, I feel like the real sequels are three, four, and five. And especially part five, that's my absolute favorite one, which is so funny too when it comes to like the lore of these films is part five stars, uh, you know, Mickey Rooney. Now, Mickey Rooney, I don't know if you guys remember this and I remember really well in school I, there was like my, one of my, my teacher in school was like playing a documentary on like Christmas and like I remember in the documentary was talking about like the dark side of Christmas and like kind of like controversy and they were talking all about Silent Deadly Night and how the movie was picketed when the first movie came out and how Mickey Rooney was actually really against the, the, the original first film and he was somebody that was like picketing it and not into it and all this stuff so it's incredibly strange when you think about the fact that he ended up in one of the sequels years later when he was one of those people that was really against the movie so i always thought that was like a funny thing and the, and the, the fifth one was actually the best one of the sequels i thought because it was him as this this toy creator and basically the toys kind of have this evil side to them and it was really really fun movie all of these are really fun though clint howard's in the one movie uh bill mosley it's great cast and then also too Vestron Video, the one thing that I, I really like is they do an amazing job with the special features on these ones. So, for example, on Silent Night, Deadly Night 3, it has a comedy track on here with film historian uh, Jarrett Graham. It has an interview on here with Bill Mosley, an interview on here with a uh, creative consultant on here. It has an interview on here with executive producer, trailer, steel gallery. On part four, that one has an interview on there, uh, uh, sorry, commentary with the director, uh, some interviews with the screenwriter, interview with the eff special effects artist on here, uh, interview with the producer, trailer, Steel Gallery, and then on part five, that has a commentary track with the, the um, director and co-writer, uh, interviews on there with um, the producer, Brian Yuza, as well as um, interview on there with Screaming Mad George, who's a great effects artist. He did this stuff uh, too in um, the movie Society, if you guys have ever seen that movie. Uh, Silent Deadline at Five interview with the producer, the, the trailer, and the still gallery. Like I said, lots of features on here. I'll show you guys though a look inside here as well at the discs for this one. And two, I always love the slip covers on these. There also is included a um, digital copy as well. And each movie is on its own disc as well. So if you guys are wondering, each film has its own uh, separate disc. So that's one thing that's really cool as well. They're not all on like one disc or anything like that. They have separate discs for each of the films as well. Now, the next one here, this is from um, Paramount. This is what I was really interested in seeing. This is the film Smile. Now, keep in mind, though, with this edition, though, the 4K, it only includes the 4K disc. It doesn't have the Blu-ray version. So don't buy this version if you don't have a 4K player and because like the thing is when it comes to 4k a lot of times it has the blu-ray too so then people buy it and then like they go oh, in the future i have 4k but just keep in mind though it only has the 4k disc and the um the digital code on this one but this one though was a real i'm like having to do like the survivor challenge with my hand when you shoot in the car like this but basically though this is about this woman who's a therapist and her one patient comes in and the patient is really acting strange and is like doing this incredibly weird smile and like and kills himself and then basically from there she starts seeing this patient again and then weird sort of things start happening she starts see seeing like these smiling like people and essentially though it's a it's a little bit like um the idea of like someone's sadness like or someone like the way someone is like whatever that that's haunting them like comes and after this woman and like basically like whatever's going on with what happened to the woman that in the beginning that was her patient is now kind of happening to her that's what so she believes and it's kind of like is this in her head is this something really happening what's going on but it's a really crazy movie uh really cool though it has on here though the original short film that started it all like the short that the film was uh, based on it also has a comedy track on here it has a making of on here uh, deleted scenes as well with an optional commentary track on this one uh, the next one here uh, this was a fun movie this is based on the book from years ago and i remember this as a kid a uh, lyle lyle crocodile and it's basically though about this crocodile that's like in the city that kind of goes and makes friends with this kid and stuff like that it's it's kind of it's 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 a wacky weird movie i, re I remember like i said i remember the book really well as a kid and it, this one has a javier bird was it javier Bardeen in here was in here am i mixing that up was he in here or no I, th I think he was. Yeah, I think Javier Bardeen was in this movie. As, unless I met, yeah, Javier Bardeen and Constance Wu. And Sean Mendez, though, does the voice of the crocodile when he's singing and stuff like that. But it's basically like this singing crocodile and kind of comes and like lives in the, in the city and stuff like that with his family. It's just, it's just a fun movie. Uh, but it has on here, though, sing-alongs. 
It has a story time featuring Star Sean Mendes and Javier Bardeen, uh, bloopers, deleted scenes on this one here, as well as a music video and some featurettes on the movie as well. The next one here, this one was from uh, Universal. And this is the new movie with starring George Clooney and Julia Roberts. This is a fun movie. This is basically... They were together and then they ended up getting divorced and they're not together anymore and are separated. And basically, though, their daughter is, you know, going to be getting, you know, uh, married. And, and it's kind of like they want to go and like kind of they kind of believe that the person that she's going to get married to is not right. And, and kind of because of how things went so bad between them and it didn't fall and it fell apart, they kind of think, oh, it's going to fall apart for their daughter as well. So basically, they're tr they're trying to stop it. But at the same time, though, they're back together. And it's like they're starting to kind of like maybe they could kind of be getting back together again and maybe something's going on between them and they're kind of like evaluating what went wrong with them. So it's, it's an interesting, really fun movie. It has on here though, never before seen bonus content such as behind the scenes footage on this one as well on the film. The next one here, this is um, from RLJ Entertainment and Shudder. This is also a uh, steelbook uh, release here for the film uh, Mad God. And this is a really cool stop motion film. Uh, this one has in here though, it's a, um, it has the, um, in this, it has the Blu-ray and the um, the DVD in here. So it's a two disc version of here. But basically though, this is a stop motion film. It's very dark um, tone and everything. It's It's hard to explain. It's like, it's kind of like this guy going through this like hellish land and seeing all these kind of intense monsters and creatures and stuff. And it's like got this really old school stop motion vibe to it. It's really, really cool. Very, very visual. Definitely one I would recommend you guys check out. Uh, and I, here's a look though at the steelbook for this one. Here's a look at the back for this one, but a really, really cool steelbook release. Now on here though, this has a feature wise, a commentary track on here with the director, has a cast commentary track on here. It has some featurettes on here, uh, making of, um, behind the scenes montage, uh, behind the scenes photo gallery as well on this one. The next one's here. These ones are both from MovieZing.com. And I have a link where you guys can order these ones for the best price. Uh, this one was a fun movie. This one is also from Level 33 Entertainment. It's a movie called Haunted Trail. And this is basically, though, about a group of these friends who are all going to this kind of like haunted attraction out in the middle of the woods. And I always think, too, like when you go to like those haunted attractions, like haunted house type things out in the middle of nowhere, you never know, like imagine if something like something like really crazy person ended up being there or like snuck in or something it was i don't know i always think of that kind of stuff so basically though it's about a group of these friends that all go to this haunted trail they get out there though and, and it's essentially kind of like hell fest a little bit where there's somebody out there going after them and it's got some comedy in here it's a really fun movie like i said this one here is called haunted trail the other one here is one um this is from i don't know the company i think it's C cola media uh Aloha media I, I believe i don't know the for sure the company behind releasing this one. I'll put in the description below though, uh, this one here called The Electric Man. This has a lot of people though that I've worked with on, on this one. Uh, a lot of the cast, Tom, Tom Sizemore, Eric Roberts, and Vernon Wells have been in um, the movies that I've done. Uh, this one is basically, like I said, they're called The Electric Man. This one stars Jed Rowan. And basically he has some kind of like an ability where it's like something with, um, he kind of goes around and like he's kind of reads meters and stuff like that and electric meters and something ends up happening he gets like a this electric shock and starts to have these kind of like weird type of abilities and like electric type abilities it's a really interesting wacky movie there's some really wacky scenes in here especially the one with eric robertson here was really kind of funny uh but this is a, it's a fun movie though about him kind of getting these powers and stuff like that and the last ones here are from um mill creek and the last two hint ones that let you one let you guys know were available uh this one here is ultraman ultraman kids this is like the animated series of Ultraman. This is the complete series uh, of the show here. And like I said, one of the guys know that this one was available uh, from Mill Creek. The other one from Mill Creek I want to let you guys know was available was a film here called uh, County Line. And I believe I saw this actually, I don't know if this is the, the first film in the series, but I think there was either, this is the second or there was a sequel to this one, I believe, that I saw that um, Mill Creek was releasing as well. But like I said, I want to let you guys know that this one was available as well uh, from Mill Creek. But anyway though, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. And like I always say, if you guys enjoy these videos, uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you guys later.